ಯುವತಯಸ್ತನಯಾ ವಿಭೂತಿ ಸರ್ವಂ ಯದೇವ ನಿಯಮೇನ ಮದನ್ವಯಾನ ಆದ್ಯ ಕುಲಪತೇರ್ವಗುಡಾಭಿರಾಮ ಶ್ರೀಮತ್ ತದಂಗ್ರಿಯುಗಳ ಪ್ರಣಮಿ ಮೂರ್ಧನ ಭೂತ ಸರಶ್ಚ ಮಹದಾಹ್ವಯ ಭಟ್ಟನಾಥ ಶ್ರೀಭಕ್ತಿಸಾರ ಕುಲಶೇಖರ ಯೋಗಿವಾಹನ್ ಭಕ್ತಾಂಗ್ರಿರೇಣು ಪರಕಾಲ ಯತೀಂದ್ರ ಮಿಶ್ರಾನ್ ಶ್ರೀಮತ್ ಪರಾಂಕುಶ ಮುನಿ ಪ್ರಣತೋಸ್ಮಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಕೂಜಂತಮರಾಮೇತಿ ಮಧುರ ಮಧುರಕ್ಷರ ಆರುಹ್ಯ ಕವಿತಾಖಾಂ ವಂದೇ ವಾಲ್ಮೀಕಿ ಕೋಕಿಲ ವಾಲ್ಮೀಕೇರ್ ಮುನಿ ಸಿಂಹಸ್ಯ ಕವಿತನಚಾರಿಣ ಶೃಣ್ವನ್ ರಾಮಕಥಾನಾದ ಕುನಯ ಪರ ಗತಿ ವೇದ ವೇದೇ ಪದೇ ಪುಂಸಿ ಜಾತೆ ದಶರಥಾತ್ಮಜೆ ವೇದ ಪ್ರಾಚೇತ ಸದಾಸೀತ್ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ಮನ ಅಂಜನಾನಂದನ ವೀರ ಜಾನಕಿ ಶೋಕನಾಶನ ಕಪೀಶಮಕ್ಷಹಂತರ ವಂದೇ ಲಂಕಾ ಭಯಂಕರ ಮನೋಜವ ಮರುತತುಲ್ಯ ವೇಗ ಜಿತೇಂದ್ರಿಯ ಬುದ್ಧಿಮತ ವರಿಷ್ಠ ಪಾತಾತ್ಮಜ ವಾನರಯೂಥ ಮುಖ್ಯ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮದೂತ ಶಿರಸ ನಮಿ ಆಂಜನೇಯ ಮದಿ ಪಾಠಲಾನ ಕಾಂಚನಾದ್ರಿಕಮನೀಯ ವಿಗ್ರಹ ಪಾರಿಜಾತರು ಮೂಲವಾಸಿ ಭಾವಯಿ ಪವಮಾನಂದನ ಯತ್ರ ಯತ್ರ ರಘುನಾಥ ಕೀರ್ತನ ತತ್ರ ತತ್ರ ಕೃತಮಸ್ತಕಾಂಜಲಿ ಬಾಷ್ಪವಾರಿ ಪರಿಪೂರ್ಣಲೋಚನ ಮಾರುತಿ ನಮತ ರಾಕ್ಷಸಾಂತಕ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಹನುಮಾನ್ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಸೀಂಗ್ ಸೀತಾ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಹನುಮಾನ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸರ್ ಟು ಹಿಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಗೇವ್ ಹಿಮ್ ದ ಅಂಗುಲಿಯಂ ದೂತ ಪ್ರೀತ ಸ್ವನಾಮಕೋಪಶೋಭಿತ ಅಂಗುಲೀಯಮಿಜ್ಞಾನ ರಾಜಪುತ್ರ ಪರಂತ ಅಭಿಜ್ಞಾನ ಅಭಿಜ್ಞಾನ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸಿಗ್ನಿಫೈಸ್ ಅನ್ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಟಿ ದಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಸ್ ಯು ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈ ಇನ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ಸಿಗ್ನಿಯಾ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ರಿಮೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಮೀ ಆಫ್ ಎನ್ ಅದರ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಭಿಜ್ಞಾನ that is why the ring that reminded dushyanta of himself was called abhignan shakuntalam so rama gives swanamang kopa shobhitam i'm sure we would have come across engagement rings being bought these days with those letters engraved on them so here he says swanamang so the entire name rama was inscribed on it well after having blessed hanuman with this those monkeys went in search they went in different directions the the team that had hanuman nala neela jambava they came to the south of india this has been summarized by bhattadri in shriman narayaniyam he makes the job of upanyasakars much easy he himself summarizes it sugrivena anujoktya sabhayam abhaita vyuhitam vahinim tam ಕಪಿರಿತೀಸನ್ and while they lament over the their ineptness or their inability to not find sita and they also lament about jatayu sacrificing his life for the sake of sita one and other vulture happens to hear this conversation and that vulture was sampadi so sampadi tells please tell me more about how my brother lost his life that is when they 
detail all the events of Rama, his birth, how he was married to Sita, how they were sent on an exile for 14 years to the forest and thereby Ravana abducting Sita and in the due course Jatayu trying his level best to protect Sita from this kidnap manages to lose his life. This is how they say. Now as they detail Rama's history, biography, Rama's biography in itself is called as Punya Katha. See, imagine, here is one civilization telling that we can get rid of some of our sins by just listening to the life history of one person. There's a beautiful song that I'm reminded of in the Telugu language. Rama Neela Me Ghashyama Kodanda Rama Raghukula Bhisoma Parandhama Sarabhuma Rama Neela Me Ghashyama Radhi Aina Nati Nije Se Nidhi Vyapadamu Kodhi Naina Nyani Nije Se Nina Mamu Jalaika Jalanu Ramaya Brovaga Ramaya Teliyatarama Palukava Shama Nidu Mahima Raghava Nidu Sharanam Papa Haranam Maku Sharanam Raghava Ramanila Megha Shama So as they were describing the qualities of Rama along with detailing his biography something very unique something that can seem like a miracle happened there Sampati was a vulture who was the elder brother to Jadai at one point in time while these birds were flying in the stratosphere maybe above the troposphere and that's when the scorching rays of the sun were affecting the wings of these brothers. That is when Sampati as an elder brother thought that I should be protective of my younger brother. And with his wings he covered his younger brother, thereby ending up losing his own wings. So for all these years he was unable to fly. He had become old, Jara. And there was probably he had no hope of regaining his wings back and as these monkeys were detailing the life history of Rama here tells Valmiki that he saw small spurts of his wings sprouting so this was a Pratyaksha Pramanam of Ramanamam there is one an incident another incident that I am reminded of in Srimad Bhagavatam uh, the meandering of the Yamuna river caused an oxbow lake of the Yamuna waters in which there was a, 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 a very terrific snake that was letting out its virulent poison called as Kaliya. The poison was of such intensity of that toxicity that the shrubs and the plants around that lake also got eventually burnt or dead. When Krishna wants to, has made up his mind to bring down the arrogance of Kaliya and send him out from this inhabitation, he goes to the top of a Kunda tree that had lost all its leaves. While he stands on it and jumps into the Yamuna waters, Vedanta Deshika says, new leaves started sprouting from that place, which is very similar to what happens. There it was Krishna himself, here it is not Rama, just Rama Nama. So as Sampati is happy, he tells that through his son Suparshva, he was able to learn that uh, Sita must be housed in uh, a, an island which is 100 Yojanas away and then Jambavan, he of course motivates Hanuman, he tells, see had I been young, I would have flown, you don't know about me Hanuman, you are all very young people, when the Lord came as Vamana and then became Trivikrama, I was the one who held a kettle drum onto my waist and went around the world beating around saying that the Lord has won over the world. As 
as this happens ends kishkinda kandam and then we enter into the kalpaka vriksha the kama dhenu and the chintamani of ramayanam called as sundara kandam see every canto every chapter in shrimad ramayanam has been named after the stage that ramayana takes for example the boyhood of rama the, the the younger days of sita how they met how they married how the brothers grew up in their young age together is bala kandam what happened in ayodhya before the coronation happened while the coronation was supposed to happen and why it did not happen is ayodhya kandam because the events happened in ayodhya what happened in the forest becomes aranya kandam what happens in a habitat called as kishkinda becomes kishkinda kandam but here is one kandam where start till the end this canto sita and rama are not together she is in lanka he is in bharat desham he is unaware about whether hanuman would have seen sita or not hanuman doesn't message him every now and then i am just traveling i have crossed mainakam this is how we are in the cell phone world right there were days when probably people would wait for letters to come if people have reached or not now we say the check in has happened the boarding is about to happen so hanuman did not give such instant updates so rama was worried sita was absolutely hopeless nobody is even informing me what is going to happen next so while both were separated in different geographies well they were absolutely clueless as to what the future has in store for them look at the bravery and the audacity in valmiki who calls it sundara kandam See, both of them are separated nobody knows how they will rescue each other but it is called sundara kandam we may think for a moment if valmiki sounds like a sadist why should he call such a event because tilaka the commentator gives a beautiful verse sundare sundari sita sundare sundari katha sundare sundari lanka sundare kimna sundaram sundare sundari sita akshata marute mukha shrutva hrishta tathai vastu sarama satatam hridi what is not beautiful in this kandam asks tilaka the commentator sundare sundari sita sita is a sundari who is the sundara rama is a sundara lavanya rama ra lara judare ati lavanya rama is handsome so he is sundara Sita is Sundari. What else is Sundara? The message that was conveyed to Sita that I shall come and rescue you. Do not worry. The message has is so beautiful. The message is so beautiful. Where was it conveyed to Sita in a geography called Lanka, which is Sundara? I am witness to it. I have taken people to Lanka four times. A beautiful country. hope that country gets back to normal see and the people are able to live happily we can only have prayers because people will say no 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 that started burning ravana was there the same geography had a dharmatma called vibhishana vibhishana stu dharmatma the lord of shri rangam looks at the lord of shri rangam looks at uh, lanka by he sleeps tendishai ilangai nokki tells alba so the message the beautiful message was carried by hanuman from sundara rama to sundari sita who was housed in sundara lanka in a sundara fashion there it doesn't end it ends where hanuman's original name was sundara he was k sundar his father was kesari he was k sundar no sir Our pair is Anjaneer. Anjana's son is Anjaneer. See, please understand. Sanskritam as a language gives the facility to associate the son or the daughter based on the father or the mother's name. 
Drupada's daughter becomes Draupadi. Whoever was a daughter of Drupada will be called Draupadi. Remember this. Because he had one daughter, we associate her with the, the common noun has become a proper noun. Janaka's daughter is Janaki. Technically, even Urmila is Janaki. She is also Janaka's daughter. In Sri Mahabharatam, many many places Bhish, Bhima will be referred to as Partha. Because his mother was Kunti whose other name was Pritha. So Pritha's son is Partha, even Bhima is Partha. Vasudeva Sya Puman Vasudeva. Vasudeva's son is Vasudeva. So Krishna was Vasudeva. So these are all names that come because of their parents. Drona's son will be called very good. Droni. So Ashwatthama was called Droni. Draunyasya viprushta midam madangam Santana bijam kuru pandavanam Jugopa kukshim gadiyatta chakraha Madhuschame yasharanam gadayaha Says Bhagavatam. Droni. Ravana's son is called Ravani. Indrajit was called Ravani. So these are all names given because of their parents, but that is not the name as per their uh, birth certificate. Here there is a birth certificate, concept of birth certificate. Uh, the birth certificate that will not be written K Anjaneya, no. Anjana son, Anjaneya, everybody will just call just like that. Hanuman, no, he was not called Hanuman at birth because Hanuman becomes a Karana Namam later. He was struck by the Bajra of Indra, so his jaw broke. So that is Hanu. So he was called Hanuman. The one with the fractured jaw, cheek is called Hanuman. See, no mother would have called her son the one with the fractured cheek. <laughs> See, nobody will name him that way. So it was not Hanuman. So what was his name? Sundara. Now you may wonder, say he was a monkey. How can he be beautiful? In Tamil there is a saying, For every mother, her son or daughter is that Miss World, Mr. World. They won't go in search of Aishwarya or Sushmita. Now there is one chiller. For every mother, her children are handsome. So Sundara was his original name. So Sundara Hanuman carried a Sundara Sandesham from Sundara Rama to Sundari Sita who was housed in Sundara Lanka. So this is called Sundara Kandam. So why should you doubt the name of the Kandam? Asks Tilaka. Tato Ravana Nita Yaha Sita Yaha Shatru Karshana Yesha Badaman Veshtum Charana Charite Pati As soon as Hanuman was motivated, he jumped rock after rock and went to one place where he could kind of show what a majestic form he had. And as he showcased his size, unable to bear the weight and the mammoth size that he showcased, the stones started getting pressed and thereby the snakes that were hiding below the rocks, they started coming out and unable to bear the pressure, they started throwing out poison on the stones. So these are all poetic imaginations. Now as he grew in size, the, the trees, it seems they started shaking and the flowers started falling down and on his horripilated head, the flower got stuck and at one point in time, it, it looked as if there was a Pushpalankaram done to him. Pushpamayo Yatha tells Valmiki. So, at that point in time, he prays to his Acharya, Anjalim Prangmukham Kurvan Pavanayatmayonaye Tatohi Vavrudhe Gantum Dakshino Dakshinam Disham Sasurya Yamahindra Yapavana Yaswayam Bhuve Bhute Bhyas Chanjalim Krutva Chakaragamane Matim. He prayed to Surya because Surya was his teacher. While he taught the fruit that was missing that day. Many people have the habit of having mangoes with curd rice. While his mother was giving him curd rice. Where I told this somewhere, somebody got offended. They said, why are you telling curd rice? He could have had chapati. Why only curd rice? 
you are showing you are a South Indian. So you are telling he had to He grew up in Karnataka. Thank God that I didn't tell Bisi <laughs> It is Now you may wonder, sir, curd rice, isn't it a new concept? No. Krishna had curd rice, tells Bhagavatam. Vibhradvenum jatarapathaya shringavetye chakakshe vame paano. Left hand he had. Masrila kabalam. Curd rice balls. Tatpalam angulishu. He had vegetable pickle on the other hand. Ruchi or Priya, I don't know. Tishthan madde swapadi suhurdo hasayan narbabhiswaihi svarge loke mishadi bhuje yagnyabu balakedi he tells Shuka Brahmam in Bhagavatam. Now you may ask, then was chapati not there? I don't know about chapati, but wheat was consumed. In chamakam, after rudram, we recite chamakam. Goduma chame, goduma comes. But nevertheless, he had curd rice, he wanted to have mango. As far as I know, fruits come in certain seasons only. Until now, things have changed. You get every fruit, every vegetable throughout the year. That is why they don't taste well. So, mangoes, he wanted some, probably he wanted Banganapalli or Badami or Mallika, we don't know the variety. He, would, he could not spot one. He looked at the rising sun and thought the sun to be the fruit. the rising sun looked like Malgova. But Indra could not tolerate, he was power conscious, he gave one hit, so he fell on the ground, he became unconscious. Vayu reduced the proportion of oxygen in the air, 20.08, he reduced it to 16.2. People started running for oxygen cylinder, then Brahma said, mostly my creation will go away, please restore 20% of oxygen. So they all blessed him, with, bestowed him with boons. Finally, when Surya's turn came, Surya said, see, everybody has given every boon. What boon will I get? Mother said, whichever school I admit him to, they give him TC. So you take him as your student. So Surya said, I keep walking. Will your son walk? My son is hyperactive. He generally runs. So if you are also running, it is a good thing. So as the teacher ran, the student also ran and learned. See, the teacher stands itself to understand the concepts is so tough. Teacher is also running, student is also running. That is why Krishna's dance is very famous. Even the great dancer called Nataraja came and viewed Krishna's dance because generally when a dancer dances, she or he will dance, stage will not dance. When Krishna danced on Kaliya, stage is also dancing. He is also dancing. So Hanuman, so the one he prayed to is Acharya Surya and he left. See, gently this is a, again, prasangika vishayam, irrelevant thing. Generally people say, sir, your ir irrelevant things are more interesting than what you say in Ramayana. Most civilizations that we know of in history, they will worship the sun. Most. Now, the only civilization that has managed to continue the worship of sun is the Indus Valley Vedic Sanadana Dharmaic civilization. Even Egyptian civilization, if you go to Luxor, by the banks of river Nile, there is a temple for the sun god called, what is a sun god called in Egyptian civilization? Ra. Ra. So Ra. Ikad Ra. That Ra. So Surya worship is very prevalent in all civilizations. But today, the landscape of the country has changed due to various political and religious reasons. So the only civilization that celebrates Surya is now Indus Valley civilization. You have Surya Shatakam, Aditya Hridayam, Surya Ashtottara Shatanamavali. So Surya worship is very very important. Now, he worshipped to Surya and he took off. He took off like 
a rocket, not like a flight. Flight runs for a certain distance and takes off. He took off like a rocket. He propelled like a rocket. With that force when he shot up, the shrubs and the herbs around the place where he took off were also uprooted due to that force. They went to a certain distance along with him and came down. Says Valmiki. So, when he tells that the uh, shrubs went for a certain distance and came down, he has to give a simile. He's a poet, right? How? So, the shrubs went for a certain distance along with Hanuman and came down due to gravitational pull. You know all that science better. Now, like how, that is where Barmiki tells, like how the host of a house should go outside bid farewell to the guest and come. Look at the way how he brings in value system into the shloka. So the shrubs wanted to bid farewell to Hanuman. So they went to a certain distance, said bye and then came back. Look at the simile. So through a simile, he is teaching a value system. So as he left, he is propelled, he has to take off on the western route. All this comes in a beautiful poem. Nevertheless, I am very partial to this personality whom I love. His name is Vedanta Deshika. He comes up with a kavyam called Hamsa Sandesham, which I think hopefully tomorrow is Vibhishan. Yeah, tomorrow it may come. Hamsa Sandesham. He tells what route Hanuman took. So as he starts crossing the oceans. That is when the first obstacle called as Mainakam comes. Mainakam comes and says. Now you may wonder. Mainakam says, what is Mainakam mountain? If I say mountain says, oh, hard sir, can mountain speak? Uh, few years back, Ganesha drank milk. <laughs> it began, I think if I am right, it, way back in 1996 or 95, I don't know. It started in Washington, I think. I don't know where it started. It was very popular. Even during the days when we had no WhatsApp, it spread like wildfire. So, mountain spoke means you are able to communicate with nature. So, this mountain arose from the oceanic waters as if to indicate to Hanuman, see, you may be a bit tired. I have some nice resorts on me. Four days, three nights, nine nine only. Come and take rest. Yesha Parvata Sankashaha Hanuman Maruta Atmajaha Tidir Shadi Mahavegaha Samudram Varunalayam. He said, See, while Indra was on a mission to chop off the wings of flying mountains, I was the one who could escape the wrath of Indra because I sought protection under Vayu, who is your biological father. So please, as a mark of gratitude and respect, you stay on my mountain and go. Hanuman said, see, I am on a mission mode to go see Sita. If I come to this resort for four days, three nights, Italian cuisine, thin crust pizza, then where will I go in search of Sita? So I shall embrace you. For now you take this embrace and then later I will come back. And then he embraced. As he went further, he saw one lady emerge from the oceanic waters. She looked like a demoness. Her name was Surasa. Mama bhaksha pradishtas tvam ishwarair vanar shabha aham tvam bhaksha ishyami pradishedam mamananam varayesha pura datto mamadhatre di sattvara vyadaya vatram vipulam sthita samaruta puraha. I am hungry. Hanuman said, if you are hungry, go to a nearby restaurant. Why are you telling me? Get inside my mouth. I am hungry. In vayul puhuvaye. Hanuman said, I am marking your words. I have to get inside your mouth. Right? She said, yes. As she opened her mouth, slowly, he too started increasing his size. You may wonder, is that possible? Technically, it is not. But if you look at some of the bodybuilders, they will try to show their muscles. That time, this normal body, as they show their biceps, will increase in size. Probably they know a part of Ashtama Siddhi. Hanuman knew better, so he now started increasing his size. 
as she opened to such an extent where her eyes could not look straight but could look only at a gradient at that point in time vayu putrasa buddhiman that intelligent monkey became small in size went inside her mouth i don't know if you remember one oil advertisement way back in the 90s there used to be large puris one boy will go that puri will come fall down so hanuman was that lily put in the gulliver travels so he went inside her mouth even before that large drop of saliva could come and hit him he came out sukshma roopa dharise aaye dekha ba bigad roopa dhare lank jarava bhim roopa dhari asur sahare रामचंद्र के काज सवारे लाय सजीवन लखन जियाए श्री रघुवीर हर शिवर लाये रघुपति की नी बहुत बड़ाई तुम मम प्रिय भरत सम भाई सहस बदन तुम रो यश गा अस कही श्रीपति कंठ लगाबे सनकादिक ब्रह्मादि मुनीसा यम कुबेर दिग पाल जहां ते कवि को विद कही सके कहा दे तुम उपकार सुग्री वही की न राम विलाय राज पद दीन राम लक्ष्मण जान की हनुमान केम आउट एंड दैट इज वेन सुरसा सेट वॉट एन इंटेलिजेंट मैन यू आर सी आई यू आर सेंट हनुमान टू टेस्ट योर स्किल्स वेदर यू हैव द परसिवियंस द नीडेड इंटेलेक्ट हाउ टू हैंडल सिचुएशन so there are some tests in salt analysis that we do in chemistry to test if this is what that salt is for example if it's chloride we do a test called chloromyl chloride test so these are all tests confirmatory tests i had to confirm if you have those skills you have all of it may you be successful and achieve it as he spotted lanka very close he thought he's going to land as he was about to land there was some turbulence Why now? He looked down. He saw one demoness who was able to use her powers to attract his shadow, thereby affecting the object, which is Hanuman. Chaya ya, Griya mana ya, Chinta ya ma sa vana raha. Her name was Simhika. So Hanuman, as he was pulled by the Rakshasi, he understood that this is no. Testing obstacle. This is an obstacle in its real sense. She gave one fistful of hit on his head. This is when he thought, "I have never received such a blow." <laughs> At that point in time, he didn't follow, want to follow Gandhi. Gandhi said, "If he slap, if somebody slaps you on one side, throw the other." He wanted tit for tat, kuttu for kuttu. <laughs> He gave her one blow, and she was dead. Rama Nama Mane Varakha Gami Virajilu Naya Tyagara Juni Ge Banduri Ite Kulu Iya Vaya Rama 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 Nama Mane. हनुमान ही केम अक्रॉस थ्री ऑब्स्टिकल्स द फर्स्ट वॉज ऑब्स्टिकल ऑफ लव कॉल्ड मैनाकम सेकेंड वॉज एन ऑब्स्टिकल दैट वॉज सेंट टू टेस्ट हिस लाइफ स्किल्स थर्ड वॉज अ रियल ऑब्स्टिकल द ऑब्स्टिकल दैट केम आउट ऑफ शियर लव ही वन आउट ऑफ लव 
the obstacle that came out of the one to set, test his skills, he believed in his intellect to win over it. When the real obstacle came, he believed in the Lord whom he loved. See, when we probably 30, 40 years back, a lot of the elderly bhaktas, astikas here will know, if you all have lived in India and then you had to shift to Bharata, from, to US Pradesham, technically the families used to be large, four sons, five daughters, not too many people to earn money for the family. At that point in time, you there would have been a necessity for one son or one daughter to get into a very secure job. So government job was very important. So they will serve the government job for 30, 40 years. That was the norm. So later when families started getting thinner, two children, one child concept, at that point in time, children could have the facility today the generation has a facility to explore so nobody sticks to this 40 years one job if last 2018 if i've come and met one person in one job three years later he'll be in another job if they are in the same job at least they are redundant correct so changing job has become the norm so now everybody wants to have a startup they will have a company so generally parents who are used to that one job concept, if the child goes and tells, why do you want to take all these risks? Go to one morning's 8 o'clock job, come back at 6, let us watch one nice third season of Never Have I Ever. <laughs> it has just been released, Maitreyi will, will be waiting for us. Why do you want to take up this? Now, this obstacle comes out of sheer love. That time the son or daughter has to convince them out of love, don't worry. Nothing will happen. Shiva Vishnu temple's blessings is there with us. We will do well. So love, obstacle, win it through love. When there is an obstacle that is trying to test your life skills, do it through your intellect. When there is a real obstacle, Rama Nama Marane, there is no one who can come to your rescue but the Lord. Simple example, Draupadi was not married to one. She was married to five husbands, all gym body people. Yudhishthe Bheem Arjun Nakul Sahade While she was being humiliated in her menstruating periods In the middle of the Sabha While she was being disrobed While she cried for help She could have literally cried Yudhishthira Bheem She knew five of them were useless Dhanya Dhanna Havara Dhanna Chandra Dwaraka Nilayachuta Govinda Pundarika Aksharaksamam Sharanagatam How far was Krishna? Krishna was 1800 kilometers away in Dwaraka Gujarat came to Majama He was having uh, Thepla uh, Dhokla Fafra Khandvi uh, All that there And she, has, she was with Dalbati Churma in Hastinapura She cried, she knew Whose name if I call out I will get help all these five people, what will be? He'll put his head down. What will he do? Useless people, if you call out, they won't come for help. In Tamil, there is a saying, What type purattukkum, adai purattukkum, nadandadam, pudagai vyabaram. There was a garment business happening between the city of the elephants and the city of the holes. Dwaraka and Hastinapuram. What type purattukkum, adai purattukkum, nadandadam, pudagai vyabaram. He was supplying Bandini silk saris <laughs> with Patola print. Right? From Gujarat you get that, right? So here, Hanuman cried out the name of the Lord and he was helped. Now he reaches Lanka around 5.45, 6 p.m. He thinks, now I cannot go in my original form. I'll take the size of a cat, not the form of a cat. Size of a cat. Surya Chastam Gate Ratro Deham Sankshipya Marutihi Vrishadam Shaka Matro Thab Abhuva Buddha Darshanaha. As he thought he had escaped the people's eyes, there came a trident, a Trushulam. He looked up. She was the immigration officer of Lanka. Her name was Lankini. She said, Show your passport. He said, See in Bharata Desham. They don't give Aadhaar card and uh, passport for monkeys like us. She asked, did you not visit Bengal? You get that. 
So, he said, I don't have anything. What have you come here for? I saw some nice tourism brochures of Lanka where it said there are beautiful forests, national parks in Lanka. I have come as a tourist. She said, nothing doing, you don't have valid documents. And she gave him one blow. As a Rama Bhatta he has come, he is getting the second blow. This is the Prasadam, Rama Prasadam. Hanuman thought, why even under my teacher I did not get so many blows. Who are these people to give me? He just rose high up in the sky and gave her one. She should have got angry. This should have been her instantaneous reaction. She, she wasn't. She was able to recollect what she had forgotten. See, generally when people talk to us, you know, if they have to say something important, they will look at us and they will say, they will hit themselves. See, only if we hit them, it is wrong. If they hit themselves, it is okay. That is one way of remembering things. After my stint in Pilani, I stayed in Bombay for five and a half years. So, I used to live in a, a place called as Matunga. And then I had to ply for my work to Bikroli. So during Navaratri, people used to invite me to their houses to do Sundarakanta Parayanam. So I used to finish Sundarakanta Parayanam and then used to go to office. So in Chembur, I, where I was called, there was a very nice couple, agent couple, very good dampati. They used to call me year after year. The one year that I went, the husband and the wife were not speaking with each other. I don't know, they had some tiff, I believe. I was the messenger. Kabutar Jaja Amshiraya Madanarai Adiyatai Niyum Nin Amshiraya Sevarumai Ava Vennenak Karuli Vemshiraya Pullu Yarthaarukku Envidu Dudai Shennakkal Vanshirayil Avanvaikil Vaipundal Enshayyumo Tells Nammalvar In the fourth decade of the first Thiruvayamudi. So, that day I had to log in my system. My laptop did not work so I said, uh, Madam, can I use your desktop? She said, no problem, please come. I was searching where that uh, desktop was. She took Mama's Dhoti <laughs> because Mama's Dhoti is a multi-purpose Dhoti. It can be used to cover the desktop also. Isha Vasyam Idam Sarvam She opened, the desktop was visible. So the moment I saw the desktop, I started uh, typing on the keyboard. So things were working but there was no visibility on the screen. I called that mommy, mommy, the desktop is not working. She gave one blow to it. <laughs> she said, this desktop is just like him. Both need blows. So, Sita nivittam yajnas tura vanasya duratmanaha rakshasam chaiva sarvesham vinashaha samupagataha I was deputed here out of curse, Hanuman. And I asked, when can I get my last day? That is, when can I get out of this job? Brahma said, when an extraordinary monkey comes and gives you a blow, you get out of the job. Now there won't be any more immigration officer. I am coming out of Lanka. You shall be successful. Best wishes. Stay in touch. The world is small. See ya, Moa, and she left. Chatushalam chaturdwaram sarvato bhadra sangitam paschimat varahitam nanda adhyavartha hyahamutad dakshinat varahitam vardhamanam dhanapradam. So he, once he got inside Lanka for a moment, Anuman thought, this Lanka looks so prosperous and so well guarded. Will Rama be able to come here and win over this Ravana for a moment? He thought that well administered Lanka was. So when people ask, tell me about Ravana. He was a very good administrator. Very well read man. Character alone, loose character. Me too. So... <laughs> Nitta niyama tholil mudithu neduvanathu uttamar uranginar He, as he get, got into Lanka and was looking at its well-flourishing streets, by then people had started going into sleep. So it was mostly around 10 p.m. that he started searching when people would start sleeping. So he says, he describes in the Tamil Ramayanam, Kampan gives a vivid description of who all slept in the city. Nitta niyama tholil mudithu neduvanathu 
உத்தவர் உறங்கினர்கள் குட் பீப்புள் ஸ்லெப் யோகிகள் துயின்றார் யோகி ஆல்சோ ஸ்லெப் மத்த மதமே களிறு உறங்கியது the royal elephant too slept பித்தரும் உறங்கினர் even the man who is mentally retarded too slept so at that point in time i am reminded of another poem of uh, oliver goldsmith who says how london used to be in the night he says the clock has just struck 2 the expiring taper rises and sinks in the socket the watchman forgets the hour in slumber the drunkard once more fills the destroying bow the robber walks his midnight round and the suicide lifts his guilty arm against his own sacred person the laborious and the happy are at rest and nothing wakes but meditation guilt revelry and despair so oliver goldsmith says in the mid of the night in london everybody slept except the mentally retarded man whereas kamban tells in lanka even the retarded man slept telling that lanka was a better tourist destination than london in those days someone said the flights are also getting cancelled now hanuman thought of sita how should sita be abhyakta rekham iva chandra rekham pram supradugdham iva ரேகாஸ்ட்ரிப்ஷன் now he goes in search of sita tulasi das here gives a beautiful intervention he tells as he kept seeing he came across vibhishana's house valmiki doesn't mention this tulasi das tells he tells that vibhishana's house how could hanuman recognize because that house alone had tulasi plant outside it seems bhavan ek puni dekh suhava hari mandir dam din banava ramayudh ankit krishu bhavarani na jayi nav tulsi ka brind tah dekhi harsh kabirai then he saw pushpaka vimanam in the hangar so he thought this must be the flight of hanuma um, ravana originally it belonged to kubera but ravana the half brother seized used an opportunity to show his promise and seized it from kubera inside pushpaka vimanam was a beautiful sannidhanam for lakshmi so at that time hanuman thought what is this man he is having lakshmi inside the pushpaka vimanam but he has kidnapped lakshmi then as he searched house after house he gets into ravana's presidential suite there is a beautiful bed made of ivory and on that is a beautiful mattress anda it describes kuttu vina keriya kottu kal kattil mel mettendra pancha shayana tin mele ri kuttalar கொட்டுக்கால்ட்டில்ட் scars looked like the one that has been caused because of the tusks of airavata the one who has fought indra this must be ravana next to him embracing him was a lady decked in beautiful jewelry then for a moment he thought this is sita he got so excited that he spotted sita he took his tail kissed it many times he went at top the pillar came down as boat i am as to chumba puchana nanda ji kreeda ஜகோ ஜகாம ஸ்தம்பான ரோகம் இபவாத பூமம் நிதர்ஷயம் ஸ்வாம் பிரகதீம் கபீனாம் வால்மீகி டெல்ஸ் ஹி ஷோட் தி ட்ரூ நேச்சர் ஆஃப் அ மங்கி சி காம் அண்ட் பாய்ஸ் பீப்பிள் will never get excited on small things he thought he has seen see that then he realizes will rama patni be embracing ravana and will be sleeping this must not be 
Sita, he concludes, what does Sundarakandam tell us? We may make decisions which may seem good at that point, but later we should give a thought whether it was right or wrong. That is very important. Just because we have made a decision, it doesn't mean it should not be reversed. Think again. What Hanuman does is a big lesson for us. He could have concluded, but then he says, no, 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 let me search. This cannot be Sita. How could Ramapatni be sleeping next to Ravana that to happily fully decked? This must not be Sita. Then he wants to go in search of her. He goes to the kitchen of Ravana. We have seen in many movies the hero, the villain will kidnap the heroine and keep her next to large vessels. So, what all dishes were cooked that night, he mentions. Mrganam, Mahishanam, Deer meat was cooked. Mahishanam, buffalo meat. Varahanam, Chabhagashaha, pork. Tatranyastha, Nimamsani, Panabhumahu, Dadarshasaha. The country liquor was placed. Mamsani, Panabhumahu. Raukme shucha vishale shu bhajane shvabhyavakshita andadarsha kapisha ardulo mayuran kakkutan sthata mayuran peacock flesh was cooked some purucha kuttu was made out of it now then he saw the women who had had a nice december 31st night and they were laden fully surrounded by liquor they were all sleeping one lady's feet was placed over the thighs of the other. The other lady's upper garment was completely off. Hanuman had to search. Then he thought, I am a brahmachari. What all drishyam am I seeing? Then he thought, see, it is my duty to go and check Sita. In this process, I have to see them. But nothing will happen to my dharmam because I am duty conscious here. I am not being diverted by these people here. And as he went in search of Sita one place after the other. He finally concluded, I have searched the entire Lanka. And I was not able to spot Sita. But if I inform that I have not been able to see Sita, Rama will die, if Rama dies, Lakshmana will die, both these of them die, Sukriva will die, Sukriva dies, Tara and Ruma will die, Tara and Ruma dies, Angada will die, if Angada dies, all the monkeys will die. Upon hearing the death of so many people, the three mothers will die, then Bharata will die, Shatrugna will die, then the citizens of Ayodhya will die. So my one word that I was not able to see Sita will cause agony to so many people. So let me revisit this process of searching. Again another lesson, what decisions we make, we shouldn't be selfish. We should check if it is good to me and my family. Maybe there is a thought in some pockets of the Western philosophy where they say, just be independent, which is wrong. You were not born exactly from the heaven, you didn't jump from the heaven. There were some people who were your causes, there are people who have nurtured you make decisions which are fairly conducive to people around you as well. If that is made, probably even nations don't have to fight. So Hanuman, he thought for some time, I should go in search of Sita. At that point in time, before that, Hanuman thought of ending his life. See, Hanuman goes to the extent of suicide. Sagaranu paje deshe bahumula phalodake chittim kritva praveshyami. Instead of informing that I have not been able to see Sita, let me fall into fire, he thinks. Then he thinks, no. There is one place that I see from a distance which I think I have not checked. Let me go to that place. Outside the board was written, Ashoka Vanam. He jumps tree after tree. Then finally searching that Upavanam, he ends up in one large tree called Shimshupa Viksham. He prays, I don't know why I have not been able to spot Sita. Maybe I might have prayed to Rama, I might have prayed to my Acharya Surya, but I did not do Sharanagati to Sarvaloka Janani Mata Mahalakshmi. I am coming in search of her and I should perform Sharanagati at, to her feet. Namostu Ramaya Sa Lakshmanaya Devyai Chatasya Janakatma Jayai Namostu Rudrendra Yamani Lebhya Namostu Chandra Agni Marudgane Bhya 
पहिनीतवसुते वितर कुशलमयी देवसेवा मोहन धमे रमे पहि जग जननी पहि मां करुणय पंखे रुहनयने अंबा पहि जग जननी एज ही प्रेड टू लक्ष्मी एंड लुक डाउन विधूत केशी युवतिर्यथा मृदित वर्णका निपीत शुभ दंदोष्टि नखै दंतैश्च विक्षत एज ही लुक डाउन ही वॉज एबल टू सी वन लेडी हू ही थॉट ही हैड इमेजिन दैट वे शी वॉज नॉट स्लीपिंग and everybody else around her was sleeping she was just looking into one direction and hanuman thought who which direction could she be looking into ekastha hrudayanunam rameva anupashyati she presumed that this must be the direction where rama must be seated and she was looking only to that direction ekastha hrudayanunam rameva anupashyati and as he looks like this and like that for him he has never seen human women see you should understand this problem he has seen only tara and ruma he has not seen any of the human women so first of all he has to decipher this is a human woman and then he has to check if this could be sita tarkayama sa sita ti karanai rupa padi bihi he found out through logical reasoning that this must be sita oh he has seen the jewelry that had fallen in the same jewelry had been found on her body that means that must be somebody else see after being kidnapped she would have not gone shopping in lanka to buy the same jewelry correct tarkaya masa siteti there was a part of the pallu which had come the same sari was here so tarkaya masa siteti this must be sita now his initial thought before he had started to lanka was oh, why is this rama lamenting over his wife sita's abduction if there is no sita there is one geeta he thought now after having seen sita just for the first time not even talking to her now he concludes i thereby conclude he says dushkaram krutavan ramah hinoya danaya prabhu dharaya tyatmano deham na shoke navasidati he concludes this rama must be the hard hearted man who manages to survive after losing a great lady such as this what is his conclusion dushkaram kritavan so after having concluded this he now looks down further he bends his neck he is able to see her profile then her face now he does a jodi making he checks whether this Ra- sita is exactly a match for rama or not tulya shila vayo vrittam tulya abhijan lakshana raghavo hati vai dehim tanchayam asidekshana what a beautiful was he says i am now seeing sita i have already seen rama let me check if they make a good pair good couple तुल्य शील वयो वृत्ता बाय शील बाय क्वालिटीज जस्ट बाय लुकिंग एट देम हैविंग मूव्ड विद रामा आई कैन एब्सोल्युटली कंक्लूड दैट देयर इज अ ब्यूटीफुल मैच ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ क्वालिटीज बिटवीन देम तुल्य शील वाय है एज तो शी वाज 6 एज 12 इट सीम लाइक अ गुड कपल टू ऑफ देम वॉक इनटू द एलिवेटर उपाचुनिटी <laughs> तुल्याभिजन लक्षण राघवोर्हति वै देही ओ 
Hanuman concludes, for that Raghukula Rama Raghava, it is this Vaidehi who is the match. He concludes there. You buy any translation, you will get the same meaning. Open course. Thereby, through the qualities, familial background and age, Sita is a good match to Rama. Close quote. Concludes Hanuman. This is how translations will be. But there is one point which the translation can't do. He says, for the beautiful eyed Sita, Rama is a match in his qualities, age and familial background. Which means there is a match between the two on all aspects except the eyes. That is what it means for the beautiful eyed Sita. Rama is a match in all these qualities. Why? For this, 